Today we're going to talk about the abdominal lab and what's involved in an abdominal exam. So let's get started. Hello. Um, my name is Carolyn Merriman and I'm going to be your nurse today and today I need to do an abdominal exam. Um, what is your name, full name please? Lita Jones. Okay, Ms. Jones, let me check your armband. I want you to know I have washed my hands. Okay, it says Miss Lita Jones. Can you tell me your birth date, please, Miss Jones? 4 1967. All right, thank you so much. Um, so, have, before we get started, would you like to go to the restroom and empty your bladder? No. Okay, so you don't need to, that's fine. And do you have any areas of pain that I need to be aware of in your abdomen? No. Okay, not today, wonderful. Um, so, what I want to do is I will have to just take my your little blanket here and, and bring it down, but I will keep you covered. The only thing I'm going to be exposing is your, your stomach or your abdomen. So I'm going to keep you covered and just pull this up. Okay. All right, so we've got the abdomen exposed, and before you do anything, you inspect. So what I want to do first is look down and across, I'm going to stoop down and look across. This is part of the final head to toe performance exam as well. I'm inspecting the skin color. I'm inspecting for any visible pulsations or peristalsis, which are the waves that go across the stomach. I'm inspecting to look and see where the umbilicus is or the belly button and it's midline. There's no drainage. There's no discoloration anywhere. I don't see any visible pulsations, including like the aortic pulsation. Um, everything looks good as far as color. There might be a little bit of hair that you can notice. Now what I'd like to do, and this is so important with the abdominal, is you do not put your hands on the abdomen until you've auscultated for bowel sound. So the next step, first is inspection. The next step is I will be listening to bowel sounds. Um, what you can also do um, is percuss, but we're going to listen first before we do anything else. Okay, so Ms. Jones, I'm going to listen now, and you said that you don't have any pain, but I'm going to start in the right lower quadrant. Okay. Because that's where the ileocecal valve is, and you can always hear bowel sounds there. So I'm listening. After you've heard bowel sounds in that area, you can go up to, I usually do a clockwise um, exam so I don't miss anything. As Soon as you hear the bowel sound, you can move on. That means there's no obstruction. If you didn't hear a bowel sound, you'd have to listen at least five minutes before you would have to rule out that it was a silent bowel. And a silent bowel, of course, is a sign of obstruction, could be, so it's a, a medical emergency that you would report that. All right, I've listened to all four quadrants using just my uh, diaphragm. Now, uh, Miss Jones, I'm going to be uh, touching lightly over your abdomen. So you use the flat part of your hand, and then this you know, there's, since she has no tenderness, it doesn't matter where you start. And it's not just in four quadrants. You just kind of make your way around, checking lightly for tenderness with one hand. There's no tenderness. There's no um, obvious guarding. There's no um, major masses or anything like that. So now I'm going to use a two-hand approach, which is deeper. So I'm going to take one hand over the other, and I'm going to go deeper and deeper, go deeper and deeper and check for any, again, um, pain, masses, uh, guarding, or organomegaly, which means enlarged organs. Um, there were none of those. Um, the other thing that I didn't do that you could have done before you palpated was percussion. And again, it's an advanced skill, but we want you all to be aware that percussion is possible. So if you want to back up a little bit, we can put percussion before we do the, deep, the light and deep palpation. Remember to use like a middle finger and then you tap down on that middle finger with another finger, but I'm going to put it flat on the surface. That's about the sound you'd hear. It's kind of hollow. If I heard a dull sound, that means I hit an organ or maybe even a mass. Now, um, the sound of percussion in an abdomen is called timpani. Remember when we, when we had our lab on lungs, it was called resonance but a normal sound in a, an abdominal field is called timpani. So 
Let's go over it again. Inspection. You could at that point, um, if you wanted to do inspection, and then I would listen, auscultation. Then I probably would percuss at that point. Lastly, light palpation and deep palpation. Um, so after you've concluded that, then you can cover your patient back up. Thank you so much, Ms. Jones. That concludes our abdominal assessment. Is there anything I can do for you? No. So again, just to review, abdominal assessment is part of your final performance exam. You will be inspecting and really look down and then look across that person's abdomen. You're looking for symmetry and skin color, any lesions, peristalsis, or pulsations. Then do your auscultation. Listen in those four quadrants and listen carefully. Then for the final performance exam, you're going to be doing light palpation and then deep palpation. You won't be doing the percussion note, but you can practice it in your lab today. This concludes my abdominal um, video clip, and I hope it helps. Thank you.